Amen. Hey, let's give let's give K, Caleb our undivided attention because he got an awesome word from God. Amen. Amen. Test it, bro. Good afternoon. T today I'm going to be preaching about something I believe God gave me in a car ride. So, but before I do this, can you guys please turn to Psalm 68, 35? We're going to need that for later. But, long story short, we were going upstate, and I there was just something about my dad's song he was playing a song in the car and there was just something about the music it was saying something like how God will forgive you and stuff and I was thinking of my uncle at that time because when I usually go upstate I hang out with my uncle and I I started to think how he's a Christian and he does believe in Christ but he doesn't come to church on a daily basis he doesn't pray on a daily basis and the song just made me think of him because it said I will forgive you and forgive you and Although us Christians, we might sin a lot, and we might sin and sin and sin, but really all we need is to ask God for forgiveness. And I want you guys to understand that when you turn to Christ and when you give your life to God, everything's not going to go good all the time, and you're not going to have no worries for the rest of your life. Even in your lowest points of Christianity. You could hate the world, you could hate God, you could hate family, but all you need to do is ask for forgiveness. And whether you ask for forgiveness or you choose to keep hating the world. And what it means to ask for forgiveness is to look at God, pray to him, and ask, God, I messed up. God, I want your forgiveness. And if you're not Christian and you sin and you sin and you need forgiveness, it's your choice. It really is. So whether you want God's forgiveness or whether you just want to keep the life that you're already living. <laughs> so the, the main point of the preaching was that when you're down and upset and you ask for forgiveness, God takes your low, your, your low sorrow, your low spirit. When you're down and you're mad, he takes that low battery of yours and recharges it. So when you ask for forgiveness, he, when your battery is empty and you're about to die, God plugs you in. He makes you pure and he fills you up. So I want to challenge you guys to do something today. When you leave here, whether it's in your car or when you go home, I want you to ask God for forgiveness. And I want you to ask him for forgiveness. And I want you to say, God, I messed up. God, I need you. And I guarantee by the next five minutes, he'll take you in, he'll plug you in, and he'll make you full. So if you guys have that scripture out, I'm, I'm going to read it now. The scripture says, you, God, are awesome in your sanctuary. The God of Israel gives power and strength to his people. Praise be to God. And when my dad read that scripture to me, it perfectly fit what I was trying to speak, speak to today. Because the words, God, are awesome in your sanctuary, meaning that he's awesome. He forgives you. He's your dad. He loves you. He has a purpose for you. And then it says, the God of Israel gives you power and strength. So when you're embarrassed, when you're low, when you're down, when you have nothing to say but I'm a failure, God gives you power and strength to say that I am a Christian and I am happy with my life and I have a purpose. So I want you guys to walk out of here today, and I want you to realize that you guys have a purpose. 
and God does recharge you, and that you can walk out with the confidence of a Christian. Thank you.